Okay, welcome to Talking Shop. We're back at it. We got uh, another miracle story uh, with some uh, few uh, unexpected twists and turns. A wannabe miracle story that turns into a miracle story. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah it starts mm -hmm. out strong or no, weak and weak, then strong. Pretty weak. Yeah, yeah, so really weak. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about that. You can't do things without Jesus, apparently. <laughs> so uh, this is Mark chapter 9. Verses 14 to 29. Take a moment, like it, hit that little uh, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not already. And, uh, well, let's get after it. Keep away, spit out my load in every way. Yet I'm still welcome in the arms of the Okay, King. Mark 9, 14 to 29. Before I we uh, break into the text itself, the context, um, I think it's important. Yeah. Uh, I, it's, uh, I think you could pull some of this into your sermon if you're mm -hmm. going to preach this text, or maybe, maybe you even should. What's just happened? It's a big deal. Whew. It's kind of one of those climactic portions of the Gospel of Mark. It's the transfiguration. Right. You had Elijah and Moses mm -hmm. up here. Yep. And like uh, you said, Matt, you can kind of run with a Moses theme going on here. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is transfigured before them. Um, you can bring so much into that if you want. There's that hymn we usually sing on uh, transfiguration. Tis good, Lord, to be here, yet we may not remain. They don't remain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But right. since thou bidst us to leave the mount, come with us to the plain, and that's where we're going. Yeah. Right. So Peter, James, and John go with Jesus up the mount. Uh, he's transfigured. That all happens. So if you're reading this on Sunday morning, you're not getting that portion. Right. But that is that is when it says, and when they came to the disciples, yeah, that's where they're coming from. Yeah. So they're kind of, uh, they've seen some stuff. They've, yeah. <laughs> right? They've experienced Peter, some. James, and John, and Jesus have seen some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they come down, what do they walk into? What's going on? Oh, boy. Uh, situation. A chaotic situation. And even the text, it, it gets farther down in. 20, I think, is probably the, uh, uh, is the, is the most. But it's, a, it's just a commotion. Yeah. Like there's just a bunch of stuff going on. And actually, Jesus has to sort it all out. He's trying to figure out what exactly is happening. Yeah. Um, because he sees his disciples, they're arguing with some scribes, but there's a great crowd gathered around yeah. them. There seems to be they seem to be focused on something, and and, and so you hear we're a voice out, out of the crowd. Is. Yeah, turns out it's this boy's father. He says, "I asked your disciples to cast out this demon from my son, who undergoes all this tumultuous, um, possessed experience, mm -hmm. thrown on the ground, foams at the mouth, but they couldn't do it." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Jesus asks a general question, turned, like you said, turns out to be the Father who kind of lays out the situation for us there in, uh, in verse 17. Yeah, so it's, a, it's this, like you said, it's a commotion. It's um, uh, the, the scribes are arguing with the disciples. Mm -hmm. the, this boy's father's there. Uh, it's great. That I, it's interesting that the, uh, they're amazed when they see yeah. Uh, yeah. Jesus. And, I, yeah. and at first when we were translating it, we were kind of like, that's, I mean, it seems weird that they're amazed, but I think part of this is like sort of that maybe they're relieved. Sure. Maybe they're getting like, this is actually what we need is this guy Yeah. in the midst of yeah. all this commotion. Well, right? you wonder, and this is part of that Moses motif, though. You wonder if, yeah. you know, they bring him to the disciples, and, and this isn't in the text at all, but they bring him, this boy to the disciples, and they're like, where's Jesus? And they're like, uh... Uh, he went up on the mountain. Yeah. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know when he's going to come yeah. back. Yeah, and yeah. they're like, oh, well, you're here, so you better do something about this. Yeah. And, and so, of course, yeah. Moses comes back to chaos too, doesn't yeah, he? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and plus, when they see Moses, I mean, other times that he's gone up, he's got that glow so much that he had to put a veil. Yeah, yeah. that becomes so, our, our other text sometimes in the yeah. Transfiguration. Right. Uh, and they see the Jesus, and there Sunday. they are amazed. So, so, um, so he... He asks what's going on. The father tells him about um, this, as you said, this horrific uh, possession of his, yeah. of his yeah. son. Um, and, uh, and that the disciples are not able to cast it out. Now, the disciples have done this yeah. previously, right? Chapter 6. Jesus six. gave them the power to. Yeah, he Jesus sent them out and said, go. go. Yeah. And so um, it's not, 
it's not out of the ordinary for them to right. do something. They like that. thought it was yeah. in their wheelhouse. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. right. Yeah. Hey, we've done this. Before. Oh, we've yeah. been we've been yeah. trained in this now. Yeah. This is this is second Even hand. The demons us. submit to it. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, and our Lord's response in verse nineteen is, "Man, it's a bit of a downer." Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean. Right. Uh, especially coming off of. Uh, uh, a couple weeks ago where he just, you know, lambasts everyone for, you know, it is from the evil hearts yeah. of man that yeah. comes everything that defiles right. mankind, right? Yeah. You get this, uh, verse 19, you know, he calls them a faithless generation, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and, and he speaks in this way of sort of, I don't want to even be with you anymore. You have this take of Jesus in Mark, in Mark that I yeah. think is I, I haven't heard it a lot, and yeah. so I think it's uh, I think it's worth sharing, especially in a situation like yeah, this. Yeah, I've often thought if you just had Mark's gospel, Jesus comes across not as this loving, wonderful guy. Right. He's sort of like he is doing the will of his father. Hmm. That's the guy he loves. Yeah, he's putting up with the rest of you because yeah. his father loves you, <laughs> right? I mean, now I know it's not that hard and crass, but right, that's kind of the way it reads, and you definitely get that yeah. here. He comes down; he's just been transfigured. He comes down, um, he sees this argument, and he's just like he's like done with him, but he's not done with them. No, right. he will still see this through. Uh, but you get this. Uh, yeah, he's almost like he's wearied with them. Yeah, yeah. Right? wearied in, in, yeah. in a particular way. Yeah, uh, he doesn't cite this or that. He cites their lack of faith. Yes, that's what he's getting specifically impatient about. Yeah. their lack of faith, and that factors in big in this passage. Yeah. yeah. So, so he says, "How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me." And yeah. it's like yeah. again, it's not this like it. This one doesn't say, and he had compassion on him, and so brought. You know, it's kind yeah. of like. Yeah, in fact, right, the father right. has to almost ask, <laughs> beg for compassion, yeah, that's right? right? That's right. interesting. So uh, <laughs> they bring the boy to him, uh, and the the mayhem gets even worse. Yeah, this oh, yeah. is that verse twenty where it's yeah. it's you know your English text will put in there nouns where the where the Greek has pronouns. So the Greek reads, and they brought him to him, and when the spirit saw him, he rolled on the ground and then yeah. I mean it's like this very chaotic scene even yeah. in the Greek and the way that yeah. it's uh, it's uh, created uh, and I I, I actually want to insert a verse 20a or 20b mm -hmm. where then and the father looks at Jesus and says see just like that see like yeah, that. Just like that. <laughs> what was I telling you <laughs> yeah yeah in right case you exhibit a right this yeah. is uh, right so yeah <laughs> Uh, and so Jesus has a follow-up question, uh -huh. right? How long has this been happening? Uh, and it's been yeah. since, uh, um, I think most translations have like childhood or something like that. And yeah. why does Jesus ask that? Is that to increase the dramatic effect here? I See, that's I tend to think so. Like, mm. I, I do think that's sort of yeah. it. It's, it's for the reader to know that this wasn't like, a, this has been plaguing this child yeah. for a long time. Mm. Right. I mean... I don't know why you need to know that. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's sort of like this isn't just like a a, a new thing, a momentary yeah. thing. Well, it's a it's you know this is where you could bring it in. This is a this is a curse that goes beyond anything this kid yeah. did, right? I mean, this is just some sort of innate evil that is at existence. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and the the father adds to it. You know, not just to say, oh, it happened from childhood. And by the way, this. This demon has tried to kill my son. Oh, totally. yeah, yeah. Right? Throw him into right. water, throw him into yeah. fire. Right? Yeah. So it, right. It's, even, it, it's even ramped up now. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, yeah. And, and then he makes that request. This is what you were talking about just a mm -hmm. moment ago, Matt. Um, uh, if you can do anything, right? yeah. that's the big question. Right. He asked for compassion. Yeah. Have compassion on us and help us. Yeah. Right? Help, uh, help us and. So what's yeah. Jesus' response to that? <laughs> Another terse response, uh, probably yeah. one of those great ones. Um, if you, if yeah. you can do anything, yeah. right? If you like, can, why? Why did you even bring him to me in the right. first place? Right. right? I mean, what? Uh, of course, all things are possible for right. 
uh, with faith, I think. Uh, yeah. This yeah. one says one who believes. I think the Greek is simply just with faith. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that's, that's a, a valid thing to note there. Right there, Jesus is keying off that central issue of faith right there, yeah, trying absolutely. to draw it out of him. Yeah. Yeah. All things are possible for him who believes. Am I looking at one who believes yeah. or not? Yeah. You know? Yeah, just be careful of that because then that draws us in. I mean, we'll talk about this, but then yeah. that draws us into, oh, so it's not happening for you because you don't believe enough. Right. Right. So, yeah. 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 But I think the Father's line helps us with that. And I th- yeah, exactly. I, and I think this is actually a general line. I, I think this is the crux of the S- Yeah, verse, the verse, verse 24, right? So, yeah. um, so he, uh, uh, he hears this from Jesus. All things are possible for the one who believes or the one who has faith. And he cries out, I believe or I have faith, right? Help my unbelief. Yeah. Incredible. And, and if, you want a, if you want a little sermon structure here, verse 22, the father asks, help us and have compassion on us. Right. And then now that help has gotten even more dense because now he says, help my unbelief. Yeah. Right. right? So now his right. help is becoming more yeah. focused on what it is that is actually at the, the heart of, yeah. of the reality of the situation. And you Again, preaching this, right, you can spend a lot of time here pack, unpacking this line, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, uh, please. Um, I mean, I, I think in many ways, you know, our, this, is, this is the reality it's of the, the Christian life. I mm-hmm. believe, help my unbelief. Yeah, yeah. amen. Yeah. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Right. Yeah. But I need a lot of help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's and it's the symbol. Yeah. yeah. Simultaneously saint and sin, and sinful. Yeah. Um, because I'm part unbeliever till the day I die. Yeah. yeah. Help well, and my again, unbelief, Lord. Be- belief here isn't just a an assent, right? right? You are Jesus. You can do this miracle. Right. Yeah. But but there's there's something innately within me, in me that even though I know that. Right. I don't either act like that or or sure. live that way, right? So, oh, yeah. so in this case, you know, Jesus, he's he's he knows Jesus. Is the, that's why he brought his son, and yet he still asked Jesus if right. if you can, yeah. right? Right. So there's still within all of us, there's still that lack of faith. It's a prayer. Uh, that lack of he's, trust. He's, yeah. re, he's petitioning yeah. Jesus, but isn't that our 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 petition? Wait, too? you mean he's praying? And that's exactly what Jesus says is the fix to this whole situation. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> nice. Pretty good. So, uh, yeah, incredible statement by the Father. A lot of uh, good sermon material there. Um, it's a creed, mm-hmm. I believe, uh, credo. Cre- yep. yep. It's also the confession. Yeah. It's a confession of faith, a confession of sin. Yep. And we have that both yeah. in our, uh, in our very liturgy. Very good. Uh, so the crowd runs together. Uh, um, uh, and he rebukes the unclean spirit, uh, calls it a mutant deaf spirit, because uh, it's what it did to the boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I command you, come out of him. Never enter him again. Um, and that's what happens. Yeah, comes out and leaves him for dead. <laughs> yeah, and you get this mini, uh, you can't help but I think see uh, like images of, what will happen with Lazarus, mm-hmm. right? This whole kind yeah. of thing with, right. with our Lord himself, of course. I yeah. mean, he, it, it's very specific, right? Um, he, he he looks like a corpse, it says. Yeah. Yeah. To, and everyone else says, he's, he's dead. dead. He's dead. That's it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You killed him. Right. Yeah. Right? It looks like this, which was supposed to help him, actually ends up destroying him. Yeah. 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 And, uh, oh, the next line's beautiful. And Jesus takes him by the hand. And raises him up. Raises him up. Right, right from the state of yeah. looking and appearing dead. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, I, I think when people hear this, of course, they, they go, well, hey, he's not dead. You know, he's exhausted. He's right. unconscious, maybe, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're getting there. there. There's a lot to that of, you know, his word, his, his gift, his uh, uh, freeing of us will at first kill us. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. it will do Good. that work. I mean, it's bringing a lot of. Like theological baggage in it for yeah. sure when we're preaching, but but you can see that we see that in our in our uh, uh, teaching regarding baptism. Hey so man, like, like you, you, Drown you that old die man. with Christ and right. rise with yeah. him, right? And right. and this this boy, 
you know, in a very vivid way, dies and rises with yeah. Jesus. Well, you know, going That's going to great. a couple of weeks ago, he comes in and he removes from us what makes us us, right? So, you know, the evil thoughts, right? That's who oh, yeah, we yeah. are. We are right. by nature sinful and unclean. Yeah. He comes in and he removes that, which means there's nothing left. Yeah. So, yeah, right. to some extent we are right. dead until yeah. he... Until he reaches down and he fills that once again with life and, and yeah. puts it back uh, yeah, in its proper great. place. Yeah. That's great. And so then the big question. It's all done. Yeah. Uh, the disciples say, hey, uh, by the way. thought we were supposed to be able to do that. Yeah. Remember when we used to do that kind of stuff? Yeah. Uh, so they asked, why could we not cast it out? Mm. And this line I think you have to address it in your sermon because it'll be hanging in people's sure. minds, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Jesus says, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. What does that mean? Well, you got to know your tax taxonomy of demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that, right? I guess you got to have a whole you know, chart saying, well, this one could be driven out with what, this. What level yeah, of this. hell did they <laughs> yeah. originate from? This one has a bunch, so if you start to like interact with them and you realize yeah, that there's right. like an that's army right. there, right. you're probably dealing no, with no, no, no. legion. Matt alluded to it earlier. <laughs> yeah. It's prayer. You've got to use the Lord's power you don't have the power inherently. Only the Lord does. You have to invoke the Lord or you're not getting anywhere with this spiritual battle. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It seems kind of like the father that they had, even though they knew they had gone their own way. They yeah. had tried to do it according to their own ability and right. their own power and it had right. failed them. Right. Yeah. Um, so prayer, I mean, so, I mean, this is uh, good prayer. Um, is evoking this idea of complete reliance yes. upon the other, yeah. not yeah. reliance on yourself. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And and so, you know, that you this is what is called for. You know, yeah. You, it's Christ alone who will do these things. Who are you trusting in? Because yeah. Jesus just doesn't say, "Oh, faithless father." He doesn't say faithless son or just faithless disciples. He says faithless generation. You all got to get this. Yeah. yeah. We all need this faith. We all need to trust, or you're not getting anywhere without yeah. faith. It's impossible. Yeah. To please. And so the the first time they go out and they've been successful in this, they're go they're sent by Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They he he uh, they go as ambassadors of his right. power and might, right, to do this work. Mark six. Yeah. And yeah. this this time they're just trying to kind of do it on their own. It clearly yeah. doesn't work. Right. And as you were talking earlier when we we're translating that. You see later examples, you know, especially in Acts and stuff, where they they do miracles and they clearly are ascribing the power yeah. to the proper yeah. place, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> you right. know, they're they're um, staying connected. Yeah. And if you want this practical approach, right? To some extent, this is this is our our preaching task, but for our 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 people, right? We'll come to Sunday. We'll we'll come to service on Sunday morning. We'll hear that word, and then we'll go back out into the world mm -hmm. and. They come back in the next week and they're like, we weren't able to do anything. I mean, we thought we had all of the, what, what's going on? Yeah. And you go, well, did, were you connected? I yeah. mean, are we staying connected? Do you still yeah. have that reality? Yeah. Or, or yeah. did you just kind of go, oh, I've been trained and now I'm ready to go off on my own? Well, and of course not. And you said this earlier too, not everything's going to fall into place for you just because you have faith. Yeah. Right. You know, but the point of this passage is you could be dead and Jesus will take you by the hand and raise you up. In other words, whatever tribulation you're experiencing in this world might even kill you. Yeah. But who cares when you have Christ to take you by the hand and raise you up? Yeah. He's got you that far. It is a little interesting in this text that the boy is kind of the object lesson. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's the, the, <laughs> something happens to him, but he's not really the focus yeah. in yeah, any yeah, of yeah. this. Yeah. I don't know what you do with that, but it's right. it's a reality of this text. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that that you got to stay connected, and there's that, um, and again, I, I'm part of it may start in the trust of he comes back down the mountain, yeah, right, and you hand over your problem to him, and yeah, you failed, but you're gonna hand it over to him, and maybe out of love for the father, if nothing else, yeah, he's gonna take care, he of, it. take care of it. He's right. gonna yeah. he's gonna do it. So yeah. Uh, Take a look at crafterpreaching.com. There'll be a, an article specifically on this text, uh, kind of help you think through it a little bit more. And uh, as always, share any comments below. 
uh, that's always very helpful. And um, continue to share us with your friends and family and uh, uh, grow this little community we've got here. In the meantime, God bless your preaching.